called Nurture Me, and basically uh, my goal is to reduce carbon uh, greenhouse gases to 1.5 degrees Celsius. And by that goal, I have made this app for users to like connect with environment and technology together, and then like work on it. So uh, the my chatbot, it's a medic. Uh, so it's a medical chatbot. So we ask about conditions, uh, treatments, and pharmacies. So you can chat, uh, ask about the chatbot on non-urgent queries. So you don't have to go to GPs or 111 for non-urgent queries. So my project is about helping clinicians predict uh, breast cancer prognosis using and um, giving them an explainable interface. So we could actually use artificial intelligence to predict the prognosis. Um, a two-dimensional detection and measurement technology for, for prevention furnitures. My project is it's a virtual reality simulation of schizophrenia. So what it aims to do is further the empathy of people towards schizophrenic patients by having them understand what they feel like when they experience the symptoms. So this evening my project is based on artificial intelligence, generated art. So allowing AI to come up with art just from a text prompt. I plan to be a software engineering after I graduated from the Brunel. I want to do something in future which will uh, connect me with environment and technology and like human needs. At the moment I have a job lined up after I graduate, so I'm working in the data science industry and maybe in the future I would want to work for uh, data science and also in the medical field. Well, I'm non-technical, uh, so the kind of people and students that I would look for is uh, are they thinking commercially, are they problem solving, have they looked at the industry to come up with solutions. Um, I would always look to see if they're always thinking about um, practical solutions. Um, so I looked at a number of entries, uh, there was one specific one which was a final year student. Uh, they were building a model, an algorithm which looked at news, uh, different news stories and it would classify it whether they are real or they are fake. Right now the job market in computer science and data is very hot, uh, there's a big demand. I would say the, the Brunel graduates, uh, what I interacted with, they are very confident. Uh, that's the thing I, I really like about you know, the, the students here. So Stanhope CETA is a, an engineering company, um, engineering and manufacturing, and we make um, laboratory devices which measure various properties of oils, petroleums, uh, that sort of thing. We particularly are looking for people who are going to learn well and learn quickly and um, pick things up quickly. I work in uh, equities, front office risk and analytics. We're looking for people who are motivated, maybe you know, still with a learning curve ahead, which is clearly the case when people come out of university but mainly people who are uh, independent and, and self-driven.